and I think we must say goodbye. He was a war hero. He was a war criminal. He fought on the back line so we don't have to. He spent years in the war. What war? All the wars. Every war. Both sides. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm tearing up. I'm tearing up. It's, it's, it's becoming too hard. <sighs> but it must be done. For many years, my zero avatar has been the same. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just... This image of the avatar with sunglasses added on to him. It began to start it all. Over the years, it changed little by little until it evolved into what it is today. So, why am I going to replace it? Well, for starters, here are the main reasons. Number one, Salvatore's sprite sheet is limiting. You know that talking motion for my avatar? Yeah, it comes from this animation. Yeah, the one with the cape. For a Sky game, this sprite sheet is great. For what I want to use it for? I'm always asked the question, is this possible? And the answer is likely no, or it would look stupid if I did. <laughs> Two, I'm calling the morning green modeling animation. So, there is no reason why I should use this as a chance to learn. And three, given the force to, why would I just make my own character? Yeah, there's no reason I can see yet not to. Yet I see many reasons why I should. So anyways, let's start creating the new character. Because I gotta do that or else <laughs> this whole plan won't really work. I can't really have a new mask or a new character if I don't create the new character. That's kind of not how that logic works. <sighs> so to start my character, I had a few ideas written down. The first was, and I quote, sunglasses. Because of course, that is the only real creative part from before. Let's let's be honest here. <laughs> um, but no detail, which did kind of coincide with the Battle Toys uh, sprite edit, was that the sunglasses need to stay on. No eyes can ever be shown through the darkness of the sunglasses. Now there was one one tiny problem with me using that. And that problem is that, well, sunglasses are very limiting. You can't really give much emotion when your eyes are completely covered. I mean, there's a saying, eyes are a mirror to the soul for a goddamn reason. And when you have sunglasses that completely cover the eyes, then it can be a little hard to show expressions, which... Yeah. Luckily, we can do a little cheat magic. So, basically what I'm going to do, for now on, is that the sunglasses kind of act as eyes of their own. It can express in their own ways, so by extension, the character can still technically have eyes. Or at least, the purpose that eyes give. And that is to be expressed in a motive. Because fun fact, characters cannot see through their eyes as they do not exist in reality. Yet. A character just can't be sunglasses, though. Or, more accurately, I do not want a character who's just sunglasses, though. So, let's add a bit more. I took some inspiration from Chrism Girl, to the three of you who recognize this skin. Hello! To those who don't, some things are best left forgotten. But yeah, what I mainly took from Chrism Girl is the horns and kind of inspired the top. I mean, looking back, the top really doesn't look like the kind of jacket design that I created. But like, when I was thinking about creating the top, I was thinking about Chrism Girl, despite the fact that Chrism Girl does not actually look like what I was thinking about. But you know what? Inspiration comes from many sources. Um, so anyways, the next thing that I wrote down was a red and purple color scheme, because well, frankly, I just like the colors. <laughs> There's nothing else to it. I, 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 I just like the colors red and purple. Gotta be honest with you. That, 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 that's about it. 
I decided to put down some wingdings somewhere. Why? No, oh, no, it's just, I, I, I just like, I just, I, I just, you know, I, 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 I am not going to explain my logic to you, you fool! Anyways, that bit of audio clipping aside, uh, I decided to put on some wingdings somewhere. Over time, I decided I'd like the sort of, like, foot design would be a cool idea to put it. Also, it could be, like, someone hidden by the jacket. So, yeah, yeah. I once decided for the sort to be, like, a graphic tee of, like, like, uh, I, hmm, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but, like, those 2012 is like, <laughs> eat, sleep, game, repeat sorts. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know what I'm talking about, which I guess is, I guess that's kind of the basic understanding of logic. I decided against using that type of design because it's, it's fucking stupid, which was kind of the point of creating that design, but like, you know, I was going to use it because it was fucking stupid, but also, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, so anyways, anyways, anyways. The next bit of inspiration came from a good friend of mine, and it was to create wings similar that to Ekna and Flan from Disgaea. But there was one thing, and that was the sunglasses problem. I was still a bit worried that the sunglasses would be covering up the eyes and limit some expressions. Even if we were using the sunglasses as eyes, I don't know if the sunglasses can fit in every single shape possible to do so. So I was thinking, how do I get this character to be even more expressive? So I sat down for a while, I had a hot chocolate as I was sitting down and watching Fiznam play security breeds. And I was thinking to myself, deep inside my skull, deep inside the into thought core, I was staring at Fiznam. His character had a changing color scheme. It was beautiful. Um, so anyways, I, I put down my notes changing color scheme because I am definitely not a thief and I came up with that idea naturally by not looking at Fiznam stream. No, 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 that, I, that idea just came around my brain at the same time. I am not stealing any ideas. Edel 2, show the character right now. I, I cannot filibust any longer. Edit it, edit it now. Put the video clip in. Do all your magic. Edit it. Thank you very much, Ed or two. Anyways, this is the current model. I know it's not good. <laughs> Obviously, it's very bad. The hands, oh god, the hands. The hands are horrid. The hands are a nightmare fuel. No one wants to look at that hand for any longer. If anyone who has ever known 3D modeling or animation looks at this, they, they're probably horrified beyond measure. They're probably not sure if they should call a priest or a therapist after looking at it. But that's kind of a joy the just point of learning. You know, you're going to make some monstrosities to create something good. And this is just my core monstrosity. Some more key points was that the hair was a very interesting thought experiment. Well, I guess it's not that interesting, but you know. Here's the thing. If I create a color for the hair, then the problem could be like the color changing scheme. And I wasn't too sure how it would do that. The second problem was if I made it pure black, then, well, there's kind of a large black object on the face already, and I was kind of worried about the two blending in too much. So, I decided to come up with a black and white color scheme. Kind of like oil hail. <laughs> I don't know, that's just what I called it. <laughs> One of the last things I would talk about is how much I learned about weight painting. I fucking learned about weight painting. So anyways, here's a video of the last day of my weight painting journey. 
I'm sorry that you will have to see this, but you know what? It's funny enough, so I'm just going to edit it down a little. So yeah, have fun watching my chaotic downfall into insanity. Gordon, uh, uh, uh. Gordon, uh, uh, uh. Gordon, uh, uh, uh. Gordon, uh, uh, uh. What the fuck? Why are the weights attached to a solo? Why? Why is the solo? Why is the solo weight attached to? Fucking attached to that part of the hand? Okay, I think I'm done for the day. Well, not necessarily today, but like right now. Check out this heap of fucking. You gotta work on it later. Stay on today. Bye bye, gamers. What the fuck what is that? I don't know. I am so horribly sorry that you had to see that. But let it be known, that was one day of like five or six or I don't fucking know. So, just know that there was worse out there. There was probably way worse. Um, anyways, that is mostly all I have to say. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas for me to improve the character, then by all means, let me know. I'll change things with the channel branding soon -ish. Anyways, the last thing I want to really say is, much like how the Valve with Sunglasses was able to be modified and be changed over time to have its own personality, in quotation marks, I guess, but it was being improved slowly but surely. I mean, just look at all these different profile pixels for it. Some of it came from the Sky 4, some of it was updated into the Sky 5 HD sprite, which, by the way, already had transparency. The Sky 4 sprite, I had to force transparency. It was just a long journey that spanned over years, despite being something so fucking simple and so fucking stupid. With all the respect, I love the design. I, you know, I, I, I love it like my own child, despite the fact that I did create any, but it, it's my it's my adopted child. <laughs> I am not throwing into the trash can to be, to be replaced by my own heretic old child. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this this allegory is getting more and more dark and twisted, and I'm just trying to improv my way out of seeing the next part of the script. I I worked on a very simple script, but like my I just said fuck it, and now I'm just improving now, and it just it, it just has been working, I guess. It's been working, I guess, but like you know, it's not working well. I'm still continuing to talk despite having no idea why I want to say um th th thank you for watching. Yes, yes, yes. That's I think I always said that um. Uh, I'll try my best to create this character as good as possible more and more over time, but you know what? That's just the point of learning. You're gonna make some monstrosities in the pile. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know how to end the video, so...